Hey Aquarius, thank you so much for tuning in with me for this weekly message. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message, not a personal. If you would like a personal, the information is listed in the description of this video along with so much other information. Um, for those who are new here, I am a psychic medium. So in personal readings, I do not use any cards or any tools whatsoever. It's not needed with me. Um, you can definitely book a video session if you would like. Um, or you can watch me. Um, I have phone sessions as well, but you can watch me in live uh, readings here in YouTube on Wednesdays and Saturdays just to see for yourself um, or to get a question answered or join in on the games. I'm live um, between 7 and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on Wednesdays and I'm live between 1 and 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on Saturdays. Okay, uh, so yeah, definitely tune in and um get a question answered uh also i am in patreon for daily messages weekly messages monthly um oracle messages also uh meditation sessions crystal messages um uh chakra readings um room readings and protection and so much more so you could definitely tune in over there if you want more or more of the weekly message as well that uh would be under the membership that has the weekly messages okay but uh yeah that link is listed in the description of this video as well all videos if you're trying to find me just go to the link in the description of any any video all right aquarius let's get into this message you guys so so far you have the code you have codependency Addictions are affecting your romantic life and you have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. All right. And what else? Show us more for uh, Aquarius. You have deception. Mm -mm -mm. Someone is wearing a false, a false self mask in this relationship. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And then forgiving and learning. Um, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So for some of you, you need to work on that inner healing. You need to work on this past life trauma that you have experienced, um, or experienced as a child, um, or experienced as, uh, I mean, in past relationships. Okay. That needs to, you need to work on that because you're calling in your soulmate, but there's still some healing that needs to be done. So how are you going to call in your soulmate? That's selfish. Because if you know you hurt your bruise or, you know, you know you have to do some healing, why calling your soulmate, calling a person and you bringing that baggage too? So someone could be praying for their person to come in, but yet um, they're hurt from the past relationship or hurt from the past um, trauma that they experienced as a child. Those That needs to be healed before you can. I mean, it don't have to be healed, but if you want it to be healthy, it will be very wise to work on that healing. Um, yeah, someone could have codependency issues, addictions. Um, that could be definitely in interfering with your love life. Uh, someone have trust issues as well. Let's get a message. This back spirit. Show us a message for Aquarius. Aquarius. Someone could be dealing or still have a connection with the child's parent. Um, this child's parent still may want something with you, or this could be your person you're dealing with, and they're they're still dealing with their child's parent. The baby mother, baby father. And they're wearing a false mask. It could be some feelings still involved. Or this is how, or this is maybe their ex is still wanting them. Or your ex that um, you have a child with still want you. Take it however it resonates. Show us a message for Aquarius. Aquarius, but there definitely is a child involved. We have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Girl with the snake, mm-hmm, empath, narcissist, 
Well, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. What else? So, yeah, there's a third party here that could be interfering with someone's life. Um, life, dang. <laughs> well, with the, your romantic life. Show us more for Aquarius. We have time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in a moment, having fun. And then the chaser. Here goes the chaser. So, you could have become single. Now, this karmic, wow, karmic relationship. Bleeding triggers, resentment lessons, letting go and loving you, Grand Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So you release. Dang. Coffin. Endings bring new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation, transition. Yeah. It's over for this karmic. But they constantly trying to come back in. Whether they're chasing after you or they're chasing after your person. Okay. And this chase don't necessarily have to be literally, you know, but they're chasing after them by still trying to be in connection, com communication. Like they want to keep up their energy with this person so they can still have a chance. They want to have a chance still. Okay, let's see. More. Let's see the present energy for Aquarius. Please show us the present energy for Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like someone's ex is making it hard for them to move on, making it hard for them to have new love. I mean, even if you go into a relationship, so if this is like a baby mother, baby father, they want to stay relevant. This person want to stay relevant in your life. It's like, as long as I stay relevant, then they'll always think of me some way, somehow, <laughs> whether it's bad or good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Show us uh, present energy. What is the present energy for Aquarius? Present energy, the sun. So clarity, you're receiving clarity here about about this, possibly about, you know, who this is that can't let go or due to your, your addictions or this person addictions towards you. Show us more on the sun. Clarify the sun. The sun is clarified with the eight of wands in reverse. So there's, oh, someone is, yeah, someone is getting clarity on why things are delayed. How come they can't move forward? How come they can't take flight out of this situation completely? It's because they're realizing what this person is or who they are. The mask could be re uh, coming off. All right. So what is Aquarius' desires pertaining to this situation? What is Aquarius' desires to remove all the snakes, the phoniness, the illusions? That's what it is. You like, nah, I want to release. <laughs> release. <laughs> I want to remove and release all what's hidden. Show us more. Show, this uh, Aquarius, you want to take, you want to snatch that mask off. Show us more on the Seven of Cups in reverse for Aquarius. Death. Yeah, you want to transform this situation. You want to end, end all the illusions. Yeah. You want to end all the illusions here. That's coming up in your desires. You could be desiring a Scorpio. Strong Scorpio energy with the Seven of Cups and the Death. That's coming up in your desires. Maybe you're desiring this person. This person may be desiring you. Um, let's get more. Uh, what is helpful? But this is coming up in your desires. So this could be what you're desiring. But you also could be desiring a transformation between you and someone, and you want to release all, all options from you. You want to. It's like someone want to just throw all the options away because I just want and focus on this on you. Um, someone is wanting to release all the illusions, the confusion, and transform this with you, or you with them. So this could be the person that's calling in the soulmate. This could be you that's calling in your soulmate. You want to release all addictions, codependency, and just make this official or make this more stable. Okay, let's get what's helpful. Or this is how this person is feeling about you. I always flip it, reverse it if it's, you know, the other way around. Show us more for Aquarius. What would be helpful for Aquarius pertaining to this message? Strength. You remaining strong, taming yourself from this beast, whoever this uh snake is, girl with the snake or or boy with the snake, however, but you um taking control over your life. That would be helpful for you. What is the obstacles? 
the obstacles are you taking a leap of faith, you moving forward, taking a risk with the fool. So that's an obstacle for you. Why? Why is this? A, well, because you is it fear? Wait, why is this an obstacle? Why is this an obstacle, spirit? Why is the fool an obstacle? Because if you take this leap of faith, it's like, okay, what if, you know, the what ifs, you're not knowing what's on the other side. You're not knowing how, how this would turn out. So someone could be in fear of taking a leap of faith with you or you with them. Someone is, um, the so also someone may be in regret. Or feeling guilty because they didn't take a leap of faith with you. Or this is how you feel about someone. So what's in the near future? Show us the near future for Aquarius. What's in the near future for Aquarius? Show us the near future. What's in the near future for Aquarius? Near future. The lovers in reverse. Okay. So the near future, you have the lovers in reverse. Sorry, I had to pause it for a second, take a call. But in the near future, you have the lovers in reverse. Um, This could be releasing a lover or a lover is releasing you. This could be a Gemini in particular for some. Uh... For some, this is just the energy of releasing a lover. Show us more or falling, falling out of love or releasing his love. And it's, it's possibly due to this chaser, whoever this is that won't let you go or, you know, you're trying to move on. It do look like you're you calling in your soulmate. So it's someone that you do want to be with or someone that you, you're trying to go towards. If it's someone in particular or someone in particular is wanting to come towards you, but they could have this issue going on. So, yeah, someone definitely... um dealing with the karmic and it's crazy show us more with the lovers the lovers in reverse for aquarius ace of wands so yeah you have to there there the in the near future you releasing a lover in order to have this passion new beginning towards someone or some you know something that you're more passionate about so you may need to release in the near future. You may need to release sex with this person. Maybe you are um, still sexually intimate. You know, you could be sexual with this person still, but not really wanting a connection, a relationship. That's why they're acting the way they're acting, okay? <laughs> um, but for some, this is just you releasing um, a lover and you're going to have this passion in the beginning. Show us more on the near future. Near future. For Aquarius, show us more on the near future with this Ace of Wands. Wow, Ten of Cups. So yeah, releasing a lover is bringing you the Ten of Cups. Your uh, your fulfillment in love. Everything that you desire and want, you will be receiving. That over, overall joy and happiness and love will be coming to you. So that's your passion new beginning. But you must, must, must release someone or release... Um, uh, th this is definitely your ex, a baby mother, baby father. You must set boundaries with this energy. You must set boundaries because, again, it says they're a snake. It says empath and narcissist, be in charge or use, enable boundaries. Girl with the snake, okay? So this could be boy or girl, like, you know, depending on your situation. This could be a baby father, baby mother. But someone must release an ex. In order to have this. Because it's like it's here. It's already written for you. It's already for you. It's just it's some things that you have to do in order to, you know, fully receive that. Or to receive it so it can continue to flourish instead of having problems in that connection. Um, Yeah, someone is, someone is returning. So some of you, this could be you returning to someone or someone is returning to you. Um, So for a lot of you, this could be someone you already know. For some of you, this could be, you know, someone you know from past life. And this life, you're just reconnecting. And that soul is very familiar. 
that's how you know it's a past life connection. But for some of you, um, this could be someone you met this lifetime. But let's get one more on a Six of Swords in reverse for Aquarius. For the near future, Six of Swords in reverse. The moon in reverse. So secrets being revealed or, you know, someone is expressing, expressing them, their feelings to you fully. Show us more. The world. So a cycle is ending for a new cycle to begin, as mentioned. So they could be revealing that they had to end something in order to uh, come towards you. Um, someone could uh, have... Had, yeah, it's like someone had to leave someone out in the cold. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They want to build with you. They want to have this, yeah, the seven of pentacles. Yeah, because again, what's coming up in your desires is, is um, an ending to bring new beginning, the death card, which is Scorpio energy. So you're desiring to have a new beginning. You got to end something. It's like, in this reading, it's like, okay, I got to put my foot down. Or this person is realizing they had to put their foot down. It's something like that in order to have what they really desire, what they want. Yeah, I must release all all uh, burdens. I must release all baggage, you know. So that's what's happening. And someone is definitely working on that. And this, the pace of that could be picking up. This could be your emperor. You could be the emperor. Um, This could be someone that you're going to reside with, have a long-term connection with. This could definitely be like a twin flame. Um, that been coming up in some of the readings. Uh, matter of fact, Scorpio energy is here with the death. Um, it could have came up in. Well, who did I do? Uh, it might have been Aries. Did it come up in Capricorn? Yeah, it was Scorpio and Aries. So I don't know. Take it however it resonates for you. But it looked like someone have to set boundaries in order to receive this fulfillment and love. All right. But that's all I have. That is it for this week. Um, well, no, I, I'm going to extend it, of course. And when I extend it, it's going to be in Patreon. I'm going to see what are your fears due to this. Um, how this person view you. How you view this person. Uh, what is your wish? Uh, kind of similar to your desires. But what is your wish out of this situation? And what's the outcome versus the near future? The near future is near. The outcome of this, we're going to see about that. And then I'm going to. Um, get an oracle message for you all right but that is it uh if you don't join me in patreon you can definitely um just wait till next week for another message all right until next time any blessings